Hey, thanks for swinging by All About Teardrops again. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about tow vehicles. Now, one thing, uh, every time we went into a uh, RV dealership and started talking about what we wanted to do, the one of the big questions they've asked us, what are you using for a tow vehicle? You've got to know this. If you don't know what you're going to use, you need to be very careful what you're shopping for. You don't want to get yourself in a, a camper that is out of the weight range of the capacity of your tow vehicle. Now, um, we already had an idea what we wanted to do. We knew where we wanted to be weight range, and we were uh, in the process of shopping for the tow vehicle at the same time. And we have settled on one. Uh, we actually bought it actually this past spring. We've had it for a little while now. Um, but let's uh, go take a look at what it is. Okay, so here is our tow vehicle. What you're looking at here is a Toyota Highlander Limited. Um, now we just ran across this one completely by accident and the reason why we went with it is it really has a lot of storage in it uh, a lot of space uh, granted it's only gonna be the two of us but we have we can fold these seats down we can put storage back here as well there is another row of seats that fold right down flat um, but more importantly uh, we chose this because of its capacity to tow um, it has a 5,000 pound towing capacity uh, we have a new uh, hitch on there and um, the but the most important thing um, is to make sure your, your tow your capacity is correct and in this case this thing is fully equipped to do that uh, this particular model of Highlander has the oil cooler as well as an additional transmission cooler so um, so they have radiators separate radiators for the oil as well the engine oil so um, this thing is designed to tow. It was uh, designed that way right from the factory. Um, it is a 2011 Toyota Highlander. And <clears throat> before we purchased it, I took it to a Toyota dealer and told them to run the VIN number and confirm all of the features that it came with um, from factory. And it did come with the uh, tow package, complete with the oil cooler and all that stuff. Uh, so this is what we're going to be using for a tow vehicle right here. It's a really nice car, um, and we really like it. So it's going to be perfect. Right now, of course, we're just using it for our daily driver and stuff. And my wife is. It's got all the features. You know, it's got the um, uh, backup camera, all that good stuff, heated seats. Everything is, you know, all these things are electronic today. Everything in here. It's a keyless keyless car. So, I mean, it has a key, but you don't have to put it in. It's just a push button. Um, but then, you know, this is our uh, going to be our tow vehicle right here. We have plenty of storage, as I said. It does have a, a sunroof. Um, so the guy at the dealership told me um, that this particular car, when he ran the VIN number, came with every single feature offered by Toyota for the Highlander Limited that particular year. It came with everything. The only and one thing that it didn't come with was a back seat uh, TV, you know, like uh, right up here, they have a fold out TV. That is the only thing that this did not come with right from the factory. Um, and that, of course, is not at all important to us, so we did not care. The most important thing was the towing and the extra oil cooler and things like that. So anyways, uh, that is the vehicle we're going to be towing with. Uh, it's a, As I said in the video, it's a 2011 Toyota Highlander. But it has all of the features that we need to uh, tow a camper in the rate, weight range that we're looking for. So make sure when you're out shopping for a camper or a car that they fit each other. Don't buy a, um, a, a car that can only haul 2,000 pounds and then go and buy a 4,000 pound camper. You're going to burn the car out. It's not good for it anyways. Um, but, so check the specs before you uh, make your purchases. Uh, one thing we were looking at, and I was shocked at this, and maybe they have some that can handle it, but we were actually looking at Jeeps, and I was stunned at the tow capacity of most of the Jeeps out there. They are very low, uh, at least everything we looked at. We looked at several different models, years of Jeep, and most of them did not have the same towing capacity of this Toyota Highlander. And another reason why we went with this, Toyota has a really good track record. I know it's not an American-made car, but... The, the quality and they last. They just last. They're, so they don't change stuff if it's working. So um, we've a lot of great reviews. I know a couple of the people that had Toyota uh, Highlanders, not necessarily the limited, but they've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles out of them. 
if you take care of them. So anyways, that's what we're going to be using for tow vehicle. Put some thought into it before you buy a camper uh, and before you buy a tow vehicle if you haven't done that already. Anyway, uh, thanks for swinging by All About Teardrops and have a great day.